Hi, hi, I'm Sarah Wallace, and I'm interviewing my mom about our history of our family. So where did exactly did our family come from? Your dad's side of the family came his mom from Syria and Lebanon, and then his dad from Scotland, Ireland. My dad came from Belgium and England, and then the part I'm going to talk about is my mom's mother's side of the family, and actually um, kind of interwoven together with her father that they came from England. And we have records, um, family history that says the first Baileys to possess land in Granville County was Jeremiah Bailey Sr. on August the 5th, 1761. He purchased 297 acres of land on both sides of New Light Creek in Granville County from Gillum Harris and paid 20 pounds. And that land had been granted to Harris by the Earl of Granville in 1750. So um, we have it starting back with Jeremiah Bailey in 1761. And is that, do we know that's when they came over or, that's when the, or is that when they just got the land? That's when they came into Granville County, right. North Carolina. But they date back, the Baileys, they try and um, see from England, there's a hog island in England, but there's also a hog island in the James River in Virginia, so they're not sure which hog island the family came through. Could be both, or could be one. And then there are a lot of Baileys, so it's been hard for them to figure out which one. But once they came to Granville County, they've pretty much stayed the line that we're part of. So it's Jeremiah Sr. had four sons, and the youngest was John Bailey, and then he had a son that was Robert Bailey, and then he had a son, Presley Bailey. Presley Bailey had my great-grandmother, Susie Mangum, and then... Mama Mangum. Mama, and then my grandmother, my mom, me, and you. So that's nine generations. <laughs> so, do you, like, and you know that because of all these records, or because of the book? Yes, somebody did all this research um, from... A long time ago. This is like 1980, so it hasn't been updated in a while, but, you know. It doesn't have us in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and then we get traced back, I think, it was, I think it was like nine generations? Yes, nine generations. And that's you know, that side of the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, do you have any, like, stories about <laughs> our family? Um, yeah, on your father's side, there's a so good story a about... Um, <laughs> His grandfather's brother immigrated from Lebanon because they were fleeing the Civil War there. They didn't want to be commissioned into the Army. Right. And he went to Rio de Janeiro and became a politician. Oh, and this one. Politicians are known in Rio de Janeiro and Brazil in general to be... Um, corrupt? Corrupt. Not the most honest. And his um, his last name is Malouf. And there's actually a um, boulevard named after his, his family. And his... Um, logo or slogan was I might steal but I do it well. I know because I remember when dad went there he was like yeah uh, he's like oh you're related to the Maloofs? He's like yeah he's the best criminal I've ever seen. Yes and yeah. his um, daddy's grandfather went there first when he was leaving Lebanon but decided he didn't like it and then he ended up going to Boston. So hey. he ended up there. I don't remember like whenever family reunion <laughs> The letters. Yes. Those were long. Uh-huh. One letter. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we have a Bailey family reunion on the fourth Sunday of July. And it's mainly the branch that is Presley, Bailey, and Alberta Harrison. And they had twelve children, I think. And it's oh there. God. And that one of the children is my great grandmother. Do we get invitations anymore to that? Yeah. Uh, we still get yeah, invitations? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. oh. Do we ever go to those? We have been. Mm-hmm. We've been. I still remember. Uh -huh. And did we ever talk about veterans in the family? No, we've had... Both of my grandfathers are veterans. My mom's dad was in the South Pacific in World War II, and my um, dad's dad was after the war, and they were doing reconstruction in Europe, and that's where he met... My grandmother, she's from Belgium, and she was a translator at Nuremberg. 
and he was there, um, and they met there, but they had to, they kind of had to get married under the radar because he was a low-ranking, I don't know all the ranks, and you couldn't get married unless you were higher up. So he had, they had to go to Luxembourg and get married in a civil, like regular outfit instead of the army one. So when my father was born, he was born in Belgium, and his citizenship was in question because it, the Americans said he was Belgian, the Belgians said he was American. But no, he has an American father, like no, he has a Belgian mother. So they had to um, figure that out. So is he was he considered American? So he's American. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's not considered, is he not? He was not dual. No, not dual at all. No, but no. he was born there and they came to the U.S. when he was like one. So she, is she part of this? She's, so she's on my dad's side. This, the Baileys yeah. are my mother's side okay. of the family. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of branches. There's a lot. There's a lot of branches. <laughs> and then, is this book the genealogical record for the family? Mm hmm For the Bailey family. Or for the Bailey family? Yes. And it says somebody started it, um, I think, in the 50s and 60s and then 1980s. I don't know if anybody else has really um, done much about it. But I didn't tell you this. The John Bailey, um, that was Jeremiah Bailey Sr.'s fourth son. And our, is this where our That's line? where our line goes down. Um, during the Revolutionary War, he signed the Oath of Allegiance to the Colonies, so that means his female descendants are eligible for membership in the Daughters of the American Revolution. So the women during that time were part of the Daughters of the Revolution? No, or? it means we are. We are? We can be, Oh, yes. we can? Uh, because he signed allegiance and said he was not a loyalist. He was for the colonies and would fight for, for America and not the crown. Right. And so he signed allegiance, or took an oath, and took an oath. I don't know if that means he was in the army, or in the um, war. I don't know to what extent. But he he basically said, I don't like England right now, or mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not for Great Britain. Right. So because he had not, he'd always been in the I guess America. He right. didn't know England anymore. <laughs> yeah. So. But since that doesn't like really apply to us anymore, but it's well, it, so cool to It does be... because I think they give scholarships to colleges. So <laughs> <laughs> it just hey, shows that it just shows kind of your, your heritage and lineage. 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 <laughs> lineage. lineage. <laughs> uh, words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but hey. So are there any other reunions that are for like other specific parts of the or was it really just those two that kind of yeah, and um, it was mainly, I guess, you know, as families get bigger and bigger, it's harder. But then they break off and do other reunions. Right. So um, so that's the reunion that keeps going. But there were 12 children, and now their grandchildren are the oldest of the bunch. Kind of like I'm the oldest of mm -hmm. that one bunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Um, is that the one that has the homemade desserts? Yes, so they do a lot of homemade cooking. They used to, when I was young, they put these big tins and water and cut up lemons and sugar and ice and make homemade lemonade that was really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my only memory of that is the, and this person read the letter to this person, yes. and that person read the other letter to yeah. that person. I'm like, I'm like, I don't care for the love story. That's... Because it was... A, distant cousin it, reading and how they used to do courting they would it, do it through oh, the church because they didn't even though they lived within two miles of each other they would send they leave their letters at the church and then the next week they would get a letter back and forth i think i was just too young to <laughs> yeah i think i was just too, too young and i saw food over there and i was like i'm hungry mm -hmm. but um I remember I used to also sing with Grandma and like with the little people. Yeah, so they loved to do see you know, because church was their big thing. And they were right. all somehow related to farming. Like my great grandmother, they had a dairy farm. Right. But they also, you know, there were people with tobacco and um all, Grandpa Bill. Mm -hmm, all just chickens, whatever family, you know, did the farming. So they their life was around farming and then going to church. And they was and they were very big. My great grandfather that I didn't know because he died before I was born, um, was very, started the church, Woodland Baptist Church, 
and that grandma had those too? Mm-hmm. He was one of the founding people. So they were very um, church people. They didn't, you know, on Sundays you couldn't pick up scissors, you couldn't cut anything, you couldn't, but they loved to sing and play piano. And it was, you know, thought back then you learned how to play piano. That was part of being a good person, <laughs> educated person. Thank you so much for sitting in and talking with me about our family. You're welcome. <laughs>